Excel has many, many ways to format a chart, and the choices can be bewildering. But there are a few buttons that are going to ease this task considerably. Let's suppose we're going to create a chart based on the data in columns A and B. Pie chart. We'll select the data. Click the Insert tab in the ribbon. Choose the arrow for pie chart. Let's create a 3D pie chart. And immediately we see the 3D pie chart right here on the screen. Recognize that when a chart is selected, as it currently is, we've got a Chart Tools ribbon with a Design tab and a Format tab. And the centerpiece of this Design tab is what we call Chart Styles. Here are different chart styles. We can slide over these choices and keep an eye on the image below. And we see what's happening. There's also a drop arrow to the right. And depending upon the chart type, you might have more choices than you would have expected at first. So which of these looks best? Recognize that here and there, you can make a case for this one or that one. Some of them show legends differently than others. Some of them show percents. Some of them show wording. This is often the starting point for formatting. Which of these looks best? Some point maybe you say, okay, that looks good. Try it that way. And by the way, you can also get to these features. Maybe you uh, have decided to make some other changes here. I haven't quite gotten to those yet. You can also, when you click a chart, recognize that there's a paintbrush to the right that also shows chart styles, but it shows them closer to the data. And the choices we're seeing here are the same ones we saw up above, just displayed a bit differently. So they're also accessible that way as well. Let's consider some other options using other data. So I'll move this rightward and downward and shrink it for the moment. It could be a bit smaller. Let's focus on this data here and create a chart and show you another approach to formatting. We'll select this data here and I'll create this chart relatively quickly using the shortcut Alt F1. It will be a clustered column chart. Looks pretty good. How about the options here? Chart styles like we saw before, but more of them if it's a column chart. And here too, lots of choices. Maybe we like this one. Recognize when you make choices like this, you do usually see a chart title. Now that's not the title you're going to keep, of course. You want to make changes to it. Uh, you might want the legend on the right-hand side, but this choice didn't offer you that one. And you might want to have some wording that explains what those numbers mean. Also keep in mind, this is reflective of the data that we're seeing in columns D through H. And so another approach to formatting is to use the second button from the left on the Design tab called Quick Layout. The choices you see here will vary based on the chart type. And these images are pretty small. As you slide over them, keep an eye on your actual chart, you see some changes. As we look at these different choices, recognize that on these different selections, the legend is being placed in different locations. In some cases, we also see text being thrown in, numbers being entered here and there, the grid lines are changing. After using this feature for a while, perhaps you'll have a particular favorite. I tend to prefer the one here, layout number nine. Notice how it gives us positioning for titles above the chart, below the chart, and also down the left-hand side, so we can provide an explanation of what those numbers might mean. So I'm going to choose this layout here, layout number nine. Now, of course, I don't want chart title to stay there. So normally what you would do here is simply type over this, put in the heading that you want. But you can also pick up data from the actual worksheet. So I'm going to click in the formula bar, type equal, and then click cell D2 and press enter and it pops in the title that way. The numbers down the left-hand side here aren't identified in the actual worksheet, but perhaps they should have been. And so we want a title here that explains what this means. Number of items sold, is it in the thousands maybe? We might say in thousands. Or if it's just items sold, let's just type it in. And press enter and we see that down the left-hand side now. If that font's not big enough, this is selected. We can certainly go to the Home tab and choose a bigger font size if we want to make a change that way, too. Certainly do that. Slide over it. Make it bold. All the kinds of things that you might be familiar with when it comes to formatting. 
the access title below, we might want to put something in here or maybe not, maybe nothing. Just press delete and it's gone. If you want to indicate the year, maybe that would be a good idea. Maybe, maybe not. But we have the freedom to make those adjustments. When it comes to colors, this might be considered a little bit drab. It's just a white background, nothing really wrong with that. But on the other hand, if you want to explore some formatting options, go to the Format tab in the ribbon when a chart is selected. You may have or may not have recognized that the outer area here of a chart is referred to as the chart area. The inner area that contains usually a grid is referred to as the plot area. We might want to apply a color to the chart area. And on the Format tab, you'll see a Shape Styles group. It's got a drop arrow. And we can see immediately what's happening here with the live preview feature of Excel that shows us immediately what these choices might look like. So maybe we'll choose this for the outer area. And certainly we don't have to change the inner area, but you might want to make that a contrasting color. And you can see all the tons of options going down here. So that's certainly one of the approaches that we take when we're considering changing the appearance, changing the formatting of a chart taking advantage of the fact that when we select a chart on the design tab, we have a quick layout that quickly allows us to set up various titles and locations. And we also have available to us the chart styles, which we saw earlier. And then on the format tab, some of the variations for adding colors here as well.